Good evening, I'm Adam Rive. Now to our top story here at home in Bellbrook, where many parents gathered this afternoon in support of a school funding levy on the upcoming May ballot. Two News reporter Caroline Morse live in our newsroom tonight to explain what's at stake if it passes or if it doesn't. Caroline? Well, Adam, Bellbrook parents rallying for several weeks say their child's education is at risk as well as future generations. They say if this levy doesn't pass, students will suffer the consequences. Well, we've already done a, uh, a whole lot of cuts and uh, have been uh, reacting to what the community has been saying. Bellbrook parents have been rallying for weeks to gather support for the proposed emergency tax levy on the May ballot. Since 2018, the Board of Education has cut costs by nearly $5 million and reduced staff by 11%. The cuts have expanded class sizes while eliminating STEM and art programs, high school busing routes, and 85 supplemental positions. Now, if the emergency levy tax passes in May, the K through 5 STEM program will return, as well as 31 supplemental positions and more. One Bellbrook parent says she's seen communities struggle when levies aren't passed. I grew up in a town where they had really a hard time passing levies, and unfortunately, that town struggled to recover, and it really didn't fully. So I'd be devastated to see that happen to Bellbrook. An emergency tax levy in Bellbrook hasn't passed for several years. Now, the vote on this emergency levy will take place on May 4th. Live in the newsroom, Caroline Morse, 2 News working for you.